And my name is Zanaka. I'm part of the Data Science Discovery team. And in this video today, we will be doing a question on linear regression in Python. So let's go ahead and get started. So here it says, um, FIFA is a popular simulation video game, uh, right? So basically, the column overall represents the score that um, is assigned to each player. The higher the score, the better the player, right? So right now, we don't know the formula for the score. And we want to identify certain attributes that might influence this overall score. So in this code below, they have provided us kind of like an outline of how to define and train your model. We just need to fill out the code. And we want to predict our overall score using the independent variables of acceleration and age. Right. So in the first part, you want to identify your independent and dependent variables. In the second part, train your model. And then the final part, predict overall score with for a player with acceleration 82 and age 5. And we want to assign that to basically a variable named predicted. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. So first we have imported our libraries, right? And then we read in our data set into our data frame. And for part one, we want to assign our independent and dependent variables. So kind of as mentioned above here, the independent variables will be acceleration and age, right? So I want to go ahead and assign those in, in a list, right? Because there's two variables, so I want to store those in a list using brackets, right? That's how you store things in a list in Python. Right? So that's going to be acceleration as my first independent variable, and then age will be my second. And then for my dependent variable, right, what are we trying to predict here? Well, that's going to be our overall score. So I just want to put that in quotes. It's just overall. Make sure you're spelling these correctly. So that's basically it for identifying and initializing my independent and dependent variables. Um, and then in part two, we want to go ahead and build our linear regression model to predict overall from our independent variables of acceleration and age. Right. So we have a model that is being initialized here, but this has not been trained on any data. Right. That's what we want to fill out here. We want to basically train our model. So right now we kind of have like an empty model um, and, and we basically want to give it data to train it, right? So we're going to use the model that fit function um, from the uh, library, right? So the model that fit function takes in our um, independent variables as the first parameter and then the dependent variables as the second parameter. Uh, and for our independent variables, right, that's kind of already assigned here. But the data, right, where is our actual data stored? Well, that's going to be stored in our data frame, right? So we want to actually get these columns from our data frame because that's where our actual data is, right? So we want to actually refer to these columns using df and then in brackets. And well, I already have my independent variables assigned here. So instead of rewriting that, I can just use the independent variable, right? And what this basically does is we're basically referring to, um, let me go ahead and write this. We're basically referring to um, these columns in our data frame for our independent variable training data, right? And there's a double pair of brackets here, right? The reason why we put a pair of brackets in line nine is because these are two columns, right? And when we want to refer to more than one column in a data frame, we want to use a pair of double brackets since this is like a list of columns. So when I go ahead and do df brackets uh, independent or ind, it's, it's actually using a double pair of brackets because the independent variable already contains one pair. So hopefully that makes sense. And then similarly to refer to our dependent variable data from our data frame, it's just df brackets dependent. And since this is basically only one variable, it's going to look something um, just like this, just like how we refer to one column in a data frame, it's just df brackets in the column. So here we're kind of fitting the model with these um, these columns from our data frame, which is basically our training data. And then finally, we want to predict the overall score, right? So we want to use a DF, uh, the model.predict function to predict the output value given um, a series of input values, right? So here we want to predict the overall score for a player with acceleration 82 and age 5. So this is kind of the input data that we're giving the model, and it's going to output our overall score um, given these values of acceleration and age. So the only parameter for this predict function will be our input values, which is um, I'm going to refer to these in, in our pair of double brackets here, 
right? Because I'm referring to more than one value. It's just gonna be 82 comma five, right? So I'm basically writing the acceleration and age um, in, in basically a pair of double brackets, right? Because there's more than one value and then passing that onto the predict function, which is going to basically output the overall score for a player with these input um, parameters, right? So the double pair of brackets is kind of similar to what we did for the independent um, variable. So what this gave us is something similar to a 76 overall score, uh, which is correct. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.